tapping is a stress relief technique where you stimulate acupressure points on your body while you think of a stressful thought. So when we are feeling anxious, we're having a thought that's now creating this physical anxiety in our body. We can have tightness in our chest or a pain in our stomach. What you do with tapping is you actually get clear on the thought that's creating the physical anxiety as you stimulate these points. And what happens is you begin to send this calming signal to your brain, letting your brain know that it's safe for you to relax. So you end up getting to the point where you can think that negative thought, but now you feel more relaxed in your body. And when we have a negative thought and we feel relaxed in our body, we're not being hijacked by that anxiety. That's the moment that we can really take a step back and be resourceful or creative as we're dealing with whatever challenge we're facing. So tapping has really evolved throughout the years and it continues to evolve. EFT is called, it's emotional freedom technique. Before EFT became popular, depending on what your challenge was, you would tap on different acupressure points. And a man called Gary Craig really took these nine points that are easily accessible and incredibly powerful so that anyone can do this technique. So no matter what you're dealing with, you can learn these nine points to help you find relief. There is clinical EFT, which a lot of therapists have begun to incorporate into their practice. There's been a lot of research around clinical EFT and PTSD to the point that it's been approved by the VA to be used to help veterans. There is tapping for stress relief. And that is my passion, is how can we get the simple technique in the same way we do meditation how can we teach everyone how to do this technique themselves to help create some relief and, and release anxiety? Most common EFT is tapping on acupressure points. Got it. And so for anybody that you know is not that familiar with what acupressure points are, um, it comes from traditional Chinese medicine, right? So um, the points that the Chinese have used for thousands of years with acupuncture, um, which we know has a lot of research supporting that that works. Um, and so acupressure is the same points, but just using the pressure of your finger, you know, the, your fingertips rather than using needles. We'll just do a, a little example so that anybody who's kind of curious about it can use that to then maybe go explore your app and probably get access to, you know, tons of different tapping meditations. Yeah, absolutely. So I'll talk you through it. The first thing we'll do is I'll just teach you where the tapping points are before we start the process. Okay. So the first point is on the side of the hand. And for those who are listening, it's underneath your pinky. It's also called the karate chop point. And it doesn't matter what side of the body you tap on. So I'm right-handed. I use my dominant hand and I tend to tap on my left hand. Then the next point is the eyebrow point. And it's where the hair of your eyebrow begins near the bridge of your nose. You might notice when people are stressed, they go like this, they kind of grab the bridge of their nose. Then we have under the side of the eye. So follow your eyebrow until you find yourself on the side of your eye on the bone. And then you're gonna follow the bone until you find yourself underneath your eye. And so I'm using either two or three fingers and it's just a gentle tap tap. You don't wanna be so hard that you're pushing your head back. It's supposed to be comfortable. Then underneath your nose between your upper lip and your nose. Then we have underneath the mouth, which is the crease between your lip and your chin. Then we have the collarbone point. If you feel the U-shaped bone underneath your throat and you go down an inch and over an inch on either side, you're going to feel it in between your, um, in between the bones. If you are wondering if you, you're getting it right, you can also use your whole hand to simply tap on your chest and you're going to hit that point. Then we have underneath the arm, and it's a hand width from your armpit, underneath your arm. So for women, it tends to be where your bra strap lies. And then we have the top of the head. So those are the nine points. When it comes to tapping, people often share that it's this combination of ancient Chinese acupressure points, which I just talked you through, and also modern psychology. And the the psychology aspect of it is when you start tapping, you start with an affirmation of acceptance. So you get clear on the problem and you say, even though 
I'm feeling anxious. I accept how I feel. Or some people like to say, I accept myself and how I feel, or I love and accept myself. The reason that this is such a powerful statement is two reasons. One is we often fight how we're feeling and allowing ourselves to simply say, I accept it. This is where I am means that when we continue doing the tapping and we're focusing on the problem, we can have a more honest experience with ourselves. We really, again, stop fighting ourselves for feeling it. And acceptance is very powerful. People often say what you resist persists. Then we tap on the rest of the points as we give a voice to how we're feeling. So you can say the same thing over and over again, like I'm anxious, this anxiety, this anxiety. You can tell a story as if you're talking to a friend and telling them what's going on. It's not about the words. It's simply about getting clear on the thoughts that are creating the physical anxiety. 